Well, good evening, everyone, and welcome to the campus of Milton Academy here at the uh, Ice House at uh, Milton Academy. Uh, Mark Hoover for NCM Sports, along with Brian Dunn, pleased to continue our sports coverage of youth uh, sports here in Norwood. Tonight, Dunny, just uh, thrilled to be here to uh, start the uh, playdowns uh, as part of the Mass Youth Hockey. We've got our Pee Wee uh, B2 team tonight. Dunny, you've done playdown hockey before. What's kind of going through the uh, the minds of these young players as they're warming up, getting ready to take on Milton? This game's always interesting because, first of all, it's a different set of rules, right? So. I, I don't know what the standard youth hockey rules is for periods, but I believe for playdowns it's like 10 minute runtime. Yep. So it's a very quick game. So you really got to be fast on your feet. You got to move the puck a little bit. Um, there's always a little bit of a pep in your step when it comes to these type of games. It doesn't matter who the opponent is. A lot of times you play opponents that you're not really familiar with. Milton, um, just based on past history, is a little familiar opponent for Norwood. So we'll see how this game turns out, but playdowns is always a fun time. Yeah, and, and, and you're right on that. It, it, is, it is amazing. You, you know, as a player and, and have been on the coaching side of it from my standpoint, it is amazing how fast those first two periods go because it's 10-minute run, 10-minute run, and I think the third period will be, uh, will be that 12 stop. Um, Norwood comes in uh, as part of the B2 Ray Division uh, out of the South Shore Conference this year. Uh, according to some of the coaches, they've been playing some good, solid hockey. Milton is in what is known as the B2 Herman division. So they are two divisions above uh, Norwood here in, in, in the playdowns. Um, you can just kind of take a look across, and even if you check our cameras, there is already, I can kind of see a size differential between uh, the, the players there in Milton. Now, granted, they're in all black, so maybe that makes them look a, look a little bigger. I don't know. But uh, so you've got kind of a difference in divisions here. So I think Norwood's going to have its work cut out for it tonight. Pee Wee's always been the jump, too, where it, the size difference really becomes a factor. Um, in squirts and mites, you can kind of get away with it because you're skating around, and if you're a little guy, like you can, you can kind of get away with it. But uh, size really does play a role, especially in the peewee division and when you um, move further along in your hockey career. So this is really the first time where Norwood could be tested when it comes to size. I exactly, and 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 they've taken checking out of uh, out of the peewee division now. Uh, it's been a couple years out, so these 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 young players still are not. Uh, uh, going to be playing too much of the body, so uh, uh, but but it is still kind of an interesting way to see how quick they go, and uh, we'll kind of get some of the players a as we go along. Landon Duhamel is going to be between the pipes as he has been all year for the Mustangs, and at the other end there is Colby Sch Schlesinger for Milton, and uh, Norwood's able to dump that puck in, picked up there behind the by number 63 Tyler Donahue, zips out front, picked up there, swatted at nicely. Is the Will, it, Isla Wilson looking to try to bury that? You're always going to pull it out, look to get back up to the point. Kept in nicely. I was talking to some of the coaches earlier, and I said, you know, again, with this running time, you, you know, if you can kind of just keep yourself, keep yourself in the game, Isla's got another shot right there. It's tied up. And you can't ask really for a better start for Norway. Yeah, exactly. Get yeah. into the offensive zone, get a couple good looks. They're really using the point well. They used the point to get the shot off first, and that's a quick line change. So. It's, it's about as good of a start as you can ask for. Yep, exactly. You know, it, it, off of the opening face off, Milton was able to kind of get in quickly to the, the Norwood zone, but Norwood turned quite around and, and was able to get back this way. So Milton breaks out, able to gain the blue line, not offsides there. Norwood breaks it back out of the Milton zone. Picked up there by Pat Murphy. Murphy loses it. Drop back in to the Norwood zone, able to clear. Norwood's going to have, Milton's going to have to clear on that one. Got the offsides there. And I'd be remiss in not mentioning, at least on the NCM side of things, I was looking through the roster earlier this week, and you look at guys like Duhamel, um, Gomez, Isla Wilson. Um, all of these are LCS kids. So it's interesting being behind the camera when this summer I was, you know, teaching them how to operate a camera on their own, and Maybe they could be in these uh, seats someday. I, I was going to say, you know, with, with the work that is done over at NCM with you guys during the summertime, uh, I, I suspect in several years they will be operating this camera for you and uh, uh, recording a lot of uh, the, the next generation of hockey players. Absolutely. Milton's able to gain here a little bit of offensive zone time. Broken out there by uh, Mingo Pajama. Still battling to get that puck out. Not able to clear it. Nice try, though, there. Milton brings it back in, works up front. Hamel comes out and challenges. Nice job. 
been talking to Coach Coach Kevin Hoover, who uh, is in his second year at helping out here at the at the Norwood Nuggets, and he has been working, you know, tirelessly this year with Landon. And Landon, uh, according to Coach Hoover, has really started to pick up his goaltending game. Uh, has been working very hard both off season and during the course of this year. So you can see his skills. He's really kind of come into his own this year as a goalie. And that's a great thing to hear because I think, you know, you look at. It, we always talk about the the varsity level and the high school level, and you know these are these are the next generation of kids who will be throwing on that Mustang jersey. So exactly for a kid like Duhamel and for everybody here, that's a that's a good sign. There's a little breakaway here. Benoit Gibby is not able to put that one pull down. Everyone's back up on their feet. It looks to break it back out, going the other way. Good work there by Ben Weeby. Continues to battle. Weeby dumps it in, follows the shot. Puck gets right back out. Looking to try to bring this back into the Milton zone. Kind of got a little bit of back and forth here. There was looking for some open ice right there. Wasn't able to connect. Nice look by Sam Brent. Get it into space and let the fork check through the rest. Exactly. Weeby's able to work himself in, looking for some numbers. Norwood on the change. Need to get that extra forward in. Down in the corner, working by himself, so able to get it out front. Joyce is not able to handle, pokes back out. Dumped back smartly in by Brett. Picked up there by Milton. 22, Peter Mullen. Picked off the pass. Quick offsides there. So with 740, you know, Dunny, as we mentioned, this goes by pretty quick. We've got uh, 735 running here in the first period. Still no score. Uh, pr pretty pretty even uh, action end to end. Uh, you know, uh, I, th I think the Norwood, the Norwood folks are doing quite well here so far. Right, and the thing to keep in mind, too, is that you really are working against the clock, so when the whistle blows, it, it plays to your advantage to get quick to that face-off dot and not waste as much time, especially, you know, I meant to mention in the pregame, but in a, in a format like playdowns, the first goal is so crucial. Oh, yeah. Because not only does it put the other team on their heels, but you really are working the clock in your own favor, and you can, you know, use that to your own advantage, so... Be really important here for yeah, Norwood to get that it, first it, one. It really is, it, and it is kind of interesting. You know, Brian, you, you mentioned you know the, the, that clock is running, so sometimes you want to get out there quickly, and then when you've got that goal or two goal advantage, it means you know you kind of slow down on your changes. Right. Uh, yeah. <laughs> By design, of course. Exactly. So Lekovic is working it there for the Mustangs. Tries to bring it back out, unable to do so. Oh, nice stop, solid state there by Duhamel. That's a big stop by Duhamel. Yep. That's, that is, you know, again, he's just really been working his game so far this year. It's all and, about angles. Mm -hmm. And as he gains more and more confidence, you can kind of see, you know, the defense will step up in front of him and help him out. And everyone's, you know, kind of works always from my mind, you know, posts out and the defense picks it up and it helps the forwards and a lot of confidence with all the players. It helps the defense be a little more aggressive too because if they know they got a guy like Duhamel in the back, they can get a little more aggressive in the D zone. Yep. Lekovic battling there, trying to get that puck out. Milton with a little bit of zone time here. Eiler works to try to separate the man from the puck. Gets it in deep. That's a nice look in the middle. Yep. Just misses. Milton will have to clear the zone and gather it back out. Nobles in for uh, Milton. Norwood on a line change and shot just whistled wide. Three on two here. Oh, here we go. Man down. Brett works it all the way into the behind the boards there. Lukovic tries to pinch, unable to do so. That was a nice break there. Is able to get up in the feed of the def uh, Norway defender. Yeah, but you see it right there. Even in the in the six weeks where you don't commit on the pinch, the four check itself kind of works in its own way because if it goes in the neutral zone, someone else is going to be there. Ideally on the support. Exactly. So even if you don't get the puck on the pinch, the fact that you're being aggressive in general speaks volumes. Great little play there by, by Isla Wilson. She was able to kind of take the puck and, and on the rush, she's able to pull the tripping call. And so Nora would go to the man okay, advantage. Okay, power play, yep. As Donahue, 63, goes for the trip. 444 left here in the first period. Still no score. So we'll have our first power play. Be a minute 30 running for Donahue as he goes on the trip. 
So let's see what Norwood can do here with a man advantage. Hilton's able to clear the zone. Norwood looks to get it back in. D to D look there for Milton. Puck comes up. Way to be. Knocked down there by Elijah. Elijah's one of the defensemen that, uh, that I had last year, was able to coach, and uh, can be a very aggressive player when he, uh, when he wants to step up and uh, kind of need that here on the power play. Elijah's working there in the far corner. And this, and give credit to Milton, this is a good kill, but this is a big coaching tool too, and I'm sure Coach Graham goes over it with his guys. Uh, two men on the power play, yep. especially when it's in your own zone. You really want that puck, so don't be afraid to really pressure him. Fanny is able to dump it back in for Milton. There's 41 seconds left in the Donahue trip. Oh, we're trying to get themselves up. Geared up here with 335 left. Nice little lead pass there. Just in front of Benoit Gebby. It was a nice idea. He just wasn't right. enough on that pass. He was trying to you know, work that off the boards, but Benoit was uh, just skating a little, backwards. Yeah, just a little too much mustard. <laughs> That's right. That's right. That'll happen. Yep, 315 left. They'll bring it back to the uh, dot outside of the Norwood zone. 28 seconds left on the man advantage for the Mustangs. Now, I don't know the exact specs of the Milton Academy ice sheet, but from what I remember, it's pretty big. So it's not... Compared to probably other rinks that they play, like Ulin, I'm sure Taunton's probably up in the mix for them. Uh, Milton Academy's a pretty big ice sheet, so that that works in their favor, and it can work against them in some ways because, you know, you might have a little tired bodies out there, but for the most part, you know, you can really spread the ice sheet a little bit here. Exactly. I think I think if you if, if you look at it, I'm sure we'll get it, you know, occasionally on camera angles, the, the area behind both nets, it, it, it's fairly deep. There's a lot more room to operate behind behind both both goals. So, uh, but you're right there, uh, Brian. There is there's there's quite a bit of uh, space between uh, the net. Makes like you said, maybe by the third period you might have some tired legs. Puck stomped in. Graham was able to give that one a stop. Glove it up. Two eleven left here. Comes off to his right, and the teams are back at even strength there as Milton's able to kill off the first man advantage. Puck goes all the way down. No ice here. Isla gives chase. Tooled around there to Dermot White. He's unable to corral. Good poke check there by Allen. They're able to get that puck back in. Good work here by the, the four check here of the Mustangs. Absolutely. Mustangs Nuggets, I, not quite, I guess we'll call them, you know, there, well, there's a quick little shot right there. That's kind of nice, you know, you never know, the, you catch the goalie napping, just a quick little snap oh, yeah. shot, and you never know what, uh, what you're going to find. Puck's on net, doesn't, doesn't matter how they get there. Exactly, <laughs> you just want him in. So there's some good pressure here by this line. Quickly back. Nice look across, yep. Tyler tries to get that in. Unable to do so. And Brett will bring it around the net, comes back, turns the other way, tries to chip it up to Isla. He's got a little break here. Don't bring it back behind his own net. Pinched off nightly there. That's nice, but Lekovic is trying to pinch that before the Milton player can get around the net. Continuing to work, 50 seconds, less than a minute left here in the first period. Good Elijah's luck. Able to, yep, Elijah's able to clear that up. Milton will take it back. Just missing a couple here. Down to your last 30 seconds. This is where you really want to make sure you kind of stiffen up on defense here. Yeah. That's a smart play. That's a smart Absolutely. play. Absolutely. You know, it's, it's one of those, they say that, you know, pr probably the two worst goals are the ones like in the first minute and in the, in, in the last minute of any period to yep. give up. So, you know, it, it's, it's, again, as some of the coaches said, you know, keep this game close and, you know, you just, you just never know. You get a, you know, you get a bounce here or whatnot. And uh, so this will probably just about wrap up that first period, and it's going to do so. So that'll be the end of the first 12 minutes in the book. 0-0 which zero, zero after one, which really is, I think was exactly where they wanted to be. Yeah, I mean, go, going into the, the end of the first, the way you started it, you can't complain. Um, Norwood had a lot of good chances, and, you know, they really hold their ground defensively too. And, you know, I was just going to say, that's a smart cover by Duhamel. He doesn't yep. – he didn't need to do that, but he saw that his defender was, you know, out of the play. Um, 
and he did the right thing. He covered the puck. It's running time. So at the very least, you have under a minute left. You cover the puck, and you can just get the face off one and just dump it in exactly what they did. Yeah. So that's a great move by him. And, and I think, you know, again, all along those lines too, is if, if things are getting a little crazy down in that zone or you're just not quite sure, if you, if you give yourself the stop and, and take, even if the face off is in your zone, it gives you a chance to kind of set your lines that you want, get yourselves collected and get yourselves ready um, right. versus trying to catch that and just maybe throw it off to the side because you just never know when something's going to happen. So great little play there. I thought, I thought good solid end-to-end -end action, um, some nice forechecking. Uh, yes. You know they don't appear uh, to be at all intimidated by you know some of these some of these Milton players that are they're, you know clearly got at least you know maybe uh, you know a head and a shoulder above them, um, and and they're going they're going right after these kids and they are not afraid to get into corners and and to work on that uh, on that forecheck. Well, forecheck isn't the isn't the isn't the pretty stat right? It's right. not goals. It's not assists. They're not going to appear in the stat sheet, but it's so crucial to a team offense. You get you look at the higher levels, the high schools, the even the Bruins like. One of the biggest things they stress is forecheck and you know two guys to every puck and a third guy high and whatever whatever kind of scheme they want to run and at this level it's it's really not about schemes it's more about just the idea in general. But Norwood has a very good forecheck. They're skating to every puck. They're being aggressive and you know that goes a long way for them. Without question. So we'll switch ends here here in the second period. Tied up there nicely to cause uh, force the offsides. Um, but but you're right, you know, it, it, Brian. It is things that, that don't appear in in you know on score sheets that to me make difference. You know, back checking, um, wanting to get first to puck, uh, and, and and the forechecking. You know, those those little things that are done can make such a huge difference. And it, you right. know, is it is it fun to put the puck in the back of the net without question? But if if you're not forechecking or if you're not you know making those little plays, y you're not going to ever ever have the opportunity to set maybe up a teammate for that uh, that that shot in the back of the net. Right, and not to not to bring basketball into a into a hockey broadcast, but if you ever, I don't know if you got a chance to read the article that was written about Coach McDonald for yes. the boys varsity team, but one of the big things uh, Sheer Springer wrote about was uh, Kristen's idea of the band aid band aid board, and it's the idea of hustle plays, mm -hmm. diving for loose balls, uh, making that one extra play. So you know, a lot of coaches can imp implement that, especially with an uh, system like fork checking. Yeah. If you're getting to the puck, if you're creating a fork check, if you're, you know, creating transition off the rush, again, those plays don't happen in the score sheet, but it's recognized by the coaching staff and the higher ups. Exactly. Exactly. And while we were, we we're chatting about what needs to be done, Jack Babson of, of uh, Milton just rattled one off the post. Right. And uh, and and Elijah, who as I just mentioned, in terms of some of his uh, grit, is going to uh, go for the trip. So now Norwood finds itself in a, in a, in a tough situation here. This is going to be a big kill for, for Norwood. Man down. Uh, here with a 10.08 left in the second. Still no score. Norwood's able to clear the zone. Burn some time. Smart play right there. Oh, very That's a great smart. smart. You know, take your time. Gebby works in. You don't want to get caught in too deep. Smart play again. Yep. There's nothing wrong with being aggressive on the penalty kill, and I know a lot of people think, "Oh, you're a man down. You gotta, you gotta stay collapsed. You gotta stay tight." But if they're giving you the space up the ice, take it. Take it exactly. Right. And a big play right there. That that's kind of a nice little break for 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 Norwood as as Milton has the icing on their man advantage, so the puck will come all the way back down here to the Milton zone. 48 seconds left on Elijah's tripping penalty. Isla will take the draw. Turned around here. Sue Gray tries to work it in. Worked up there by Isla against the See, I mean, you just look at the size difference right there, and yeah. she is just battling with them. And great play. No great fear. Play. Go to the far side of the ice, but there's nobody there. You're burning some more time. Right. 28 seconds left in the man advantage. White brings it in. Shot will go well wide. Picked up there. Sue Gray's got it. Landon ties it back up. Smart play. 15 Absolutely. seconds left. Again, there's no there's no need to try and force the issue here and dump that puck out. And especially with a running clock, it's it's essentially the same thing to just take the face off. You're not saving you're not saving time either way, right. but you do get a chance at least for the defense to some face off. Great shift there again. You know, and I thought I think Isla Wilson's just been you just been playing so far, kind of lights out. Work and help kill that clock. Shot goes wide again. 
into the far corner. Norwood's able to take control, get that puck out, and they're able to clear the zone. Nice work. Nice idea, teams back at even strength. Pat Murphy on the rush there for the Mustangs. So they're able to kill off Elijah's penalty. Back at even strength, a little offsides there. Eight minutes left here in the second, still no score. And touching upon Isla too, you can tell they, they use her speed. Yeah. She, she can really fly around the ice and she can create opportunities really on her own on the rush. So it's, you can tell they, they use that to their advantage. James Soliner will take the draw here for the Mustangs. Drop back. Still working, still working. Got to beat the man to the puck here. Unable to shove it home. Yeah, yeah. it's one of those gets, it gets a little dangerous yeah. when folks start to kind of look at the puck. Right. Gomez tries to get it out, unable to connect. All the way back in, picked up there by Majader. That gets past Elijah, but Elijah will go with him into the corner. Off the skate, nice job by there. Norway's able to maybe take possession. Far side, no one home. Nichols takes a shot, blocked down Good there block. nicely. Yep, exactly, go right at the man. Norway needs to pick up the pace here a little bit as Milton starts to carry some here in the offensive zone. And I speak, and maybe they break it out, and off they go. Yeah. Soliner on the rush, one all by himself. Needs to get oh. some help. Oh, nice little move, get through. Unable to do so. Now you got a Milton breaking out, coming back the yep. other way. Collins separated nicely by the man. Brett brings it around behind his net. Picked up there by 54 Collins. And Weeby breaks it back the other way. Now Norwood's starting to pick their feet up a little yeah, bit here. They feel it. Three on two coming back the other way. Oh, strong. Good Too save. Too strong. Yeah. Landon strong to the task on the odd man rush. That's a big save right there. Norwood just trying to alleviate the pressure here. Ben yeah. Wagibi out on it. Unable to get past the man. That's some big stuff there by. By, by Landon. Oh yeah. That was a big save. He saw he saw that the whole way. Yep. Yep. 540 left here in the second. Still no score. Milton putting on some pressure here. You look at over at their bench and they do have a few more players than Norwood, so hopefully Norwood can have the legs. Blocked nicely by Brett. Sam's trying to get the puck out. He's He's able get to do so. Here. There you go. You got one. Yep, we got one coming on anyway. Yeah, they need to get some fresh legs out. He got Isla back out there, so she's got. Yep. And she's able to clear it. Oh. That's, that, that should die. That should die. A little bit of a foot race. Uh, uh, not quite. Almost. Yeah. We'll take that though. Again, as you kind of like get yourself the line change, get yourself a chance to kind of regroup. Right. 450 left. Still no score, but yeah, you know, you had that odd man rush coming back the other way where it was some, some nice action by the, the Norwood squad as they attacked the Milton zone, and then a bounce here, and it led to the odd man, and, and Landon was strong to the task. Yeah, it's really just about staying square to the puck on, on a goaltending side of things. You don't want to you don't want necessarily forget about the, the off-winger in case of the one-timer. Great block right there. Can't quite get the shot off. Max yeah. Lekovic, again, you, you, you know, you go straight at the shooter there at the, at, and you know, he's able to make the block. Now he's got to get himself back. He want to look for that back check and the offsides. Oof. Smart play that there. That is a tough one to take for Milton. Yeah. That, I yeah. think, probably a four on one four there. Four on one. Ming was uh, the, the last of his back number six. Credit, and credit to him for exactly. staying strong. Yep. But. Yep, was able to essentially kind of cause that offsides. That's, right. a, that's a big play. Yeah, Max Lekovic had a nice hit. Here he goes again. He's got to get some numbers. He needs to have some support. He's got to get that shot off just wide. Yeah. Boy, Max has been working hard, too. There He's you go. To pick up right his idea. Here at the center. Yep. Go right, uh, him, go right at him at the angle. Gets the team going. Yep. And now they got to get back again, get the numbers back. Cause the offsides again. Yeah. Maybe that's something that Milton needs to work on in the offseason is, uh, you know, the puck's got to go in the zone first, but... 
Uh, we'll take that. 3.20 left now. Well, Again, we've been, time is ticking. We've been saying, too, like, no, it's been pretty aggressive on defense, and they're holding the blue line pretty well, yeah. as you can see. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. That one was touched, so that's not going to be a nice. And see if someone can beat him down there. Worked into the far corner. Got numbers, but you got two folks behind the net, and you need to have someone pop out. Milton's able to clear, comes back the other way here. Bothered by Gomez. Sugre picks it up, zips it across. Nice little poke check there, nice little play. Yep. So again, so, you know, little things like that, you had the person right there in the slot, and you're able to get the stick on it to take it take it off him. Oof. Oof. Great block. <laughs> <laughs> and off they go again. Now they got numbers that they get up in the zone. You got uh, three on two. DeCellis is able to get around White. Yep. A little all dumb. The way across his side. Norwich is not able to kind of, once they get in the zone, it, it seems they haven't been able to, to, to get any sort of sustained yeah. offense going yet. I think both teams are having a little trouble finding some open chances. Exactly. Two minutes left here in the second. Still no score in this first round here for Norwood of the, the Mass Hockey playdowns. Back up to the point. Smart play there by the Milton players. Comes all the way across. Back up to the point. Looks to go back down deep. Some nice cycling here by the by the Milton team. Norwood's got to get the forwards up there. Able to just clear it out. Good work there. Boy, you got to watch that line change, too. They've got guys coming in and out of the zone. Yeah. And case in point, one of the Milton players was down inside the, the attacking zone, and so that was a, a nice, easy call for... Connie, our referee, one of our referees, Donnie, we were talking to him earlier tonight. Uh, Long-time referee. He, he, it was kind of fun to see him again. He, he ref when you were in the, the midget divisions. And, Absolutely. Uh, he's been doing this for years, working with the kids, and uh, uh, just a consummate professional. He's a, he's a great guy, and I think we'd have, a, we'd have a few laughs about the shenanigans I was pulling <laughs> when I was in the, in the midget scene. But. You? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> no one here able to... Sit there right in the slot, see if someone get a stick on it. Oh, kept in nicely. Oh, they, again, you know, those, yeah, that's you know, right there off of your skate. Gain the red line, dump that right back in. More time taken off that clock. Under a minute left here in the second. Get on that four check. See if you can keep the puck in. Elijah's not able to do so. Two on one, Maybe carefully we'll here. It, yeah, we'll give it a ride behind his own net. There you go. Smart play, keep yeah. it out behind. Elijah's got to get right there. Oh, strong oh. save again. <laughs> He's got it. Oh, get oh, it out. He, yep, there we go. Cover it up. Oh, wow. That's a gutsy call. But what a, a nice play. Poke check yeah. by him. Boy, I tell you, he's playing fantastic tonight, keeping the boys right in this one. Yep. Six seconds left. So we're going to head to the third. Tied at zero. Well done. Wow. I'll tell you, there's some some last some last minute and and literally last minute uh, fine defensive work and fine goaltending work, as the two goalies will go past and uh, give each other high fives. I love to see that kind of stuff because both goalies have a, you know, there there is a certain breed that's able to and willing to sit there and have people throw pucks at you. Oh yeah. Uh, um, so so there's a special little uh, bond between goaltenders. Um, y y you know, uh, Dunning on that second period, that you know, I think in terms of zone time and, and carrying a play that had to go to Milton. Um, so so to come here for your 10 minute stop time now for the third period, what are you looking for, for Norwood to do to try to, you know, to put that first one home? Well, I think it's obvious that Milton, you know, has the offensive edge here, but as a coach, you kind of look at what, what went right defensively. And defensively, they had sticks in passing lanes. They didn't panic in their own zone, which is a big thing. I think a lot of, a lot of young teams can you know, just whip the puck around the boards and hope it gets out. But they don't panic. They can possess the puck well. And, you know, we've talked a lot about Duhamel um, in this game, and he's he's been really standing strong. I'm very impressed yep. by his play. Um, but no one's still in this. And it's it really all it takes is one good rush, one good, one good puck to the net, and things can change, especially with, and I can't stress enough, with this play down format, getting – getting that first goal and it doesn't matter how it goes in you know it's it doesn't have to be the pretty right the pretty top shelfer or the one-timer if 
Just get pucks in front of the net and get in the scrum and let's see what happens. Exactly. And I think what I'd like, you know, certainly obviously any coach would want to see, uh, we, we got to get some more shots or at least, you know, a few shots on this goalie. You, you know, uh, Landon's been, you know, at the top of his game because he's been seeing a lot of action. Sometimes when, you know, a goaltender does not see a lot, you know, sometimes that first or second right. shot, you, you know, he's, he, he's not, you know, quite ready. So And they almost, get in, they almost get in their own head thinking that, you know, they, ha they have the game won just because they haven't seen a lot of shots. Exactly. And all of a sudden one goes in and they, it, it, a lot of it's mental. Yeah, yep. So Milton brings it back into the Norwood zone. Fletcher is able to dump that back down in. White back up to Fletcher, picked off there. That might get on net. All right, let that one go. Smart play. Sometimes they might, you know, Graham had just able to clear it, but a little bit too much. So it's, I'm sure you can refresh my memory on this one, but with the icing rules, it's, it's as soon as the puck crosses the line, no matter what, right? It's not a, it's not a, it's not a touch icing rule like yeah. it is in, in the pros. Right? Yeah, yeah. Not not down at not down at this level exactly. So, so it'll come all the way back down, and unlike before, we will get the stoppage of you know time here on icing. So, nine minutes left. Mingo goes to work in the uh, far corner. Battling there, Norwood's able to Way come to out. The puck. Oh, nice little look right there, right to the middle. Good support. Yep. Pat Murphy working there, gets knocked off the puck. Turn here, you got some numbers. Yeah, good D. Oh, oh, it's still there. There you go. Looking for Murphy again. Murphy's able to stick handle through. Just ridden off just a little bit. Dumped all the way back in. Murphy will chase on the four check. Again, smart little play there. Elijah still continues to work. Pass across in the middle. Ming stays in the middle. Oh, Landed save. again. And oh, again. he's going on. Wow. No whistle. Puck no is whistle. still loose. Oh. Wow. Only so much you can do. I think that was Sue Gray. I think that was Sue Gray. But, boy, I tell you, how many how many shots were there sitting there on, on Landon, and he was just, you know, strong to the task. I mean, he did it, He did his job. He saved the first, second, third, and the puck got lost in the scrum. And, you know, credit to Milton. They found it, and they, they put it home. And I was just talking about this, like, it's those kind of goals that, you know, can be the difference. But yep. let's see if Noah can respond here. Exactly. So Sue Gray makes it one nothing with eight minutes left here in, in the in the in the in the final frame. Uh, you know, again, you know, like you said, Daniel, let's see what kind of response you get from a team. Uh, positive here. You've got, you know, multiple time left. Lord brings the puck in, has numbers quickly right there as Brent is able to rifle it all the way in. Gotta make sure you get back here to pick up the odd man. Little giddy up step here in the uh, yeah. in, in the Norwood Good Mustangs. Good back checking. Yep. Smart play there. Landon takes there exception. You go. Sure. Yeah. You know he had that one tied up. Now if I'm the Milton player on the other hand, I don't hear the whistle, so I'm going to play until exactly. I hear that whistle. Exactly. That's that's hockey. You know, yep. players are going to crash the net, and goalies are going to let you know that they don't tolerate that. That's right. That's right. So the face off here with 7:34 in the third will come off to Landon's left hand side. One back here to Milton. Milton lets a flip from the point. Another shot saved there. Look in the middle. That's good strong defense. That's why I like to get your stick down, picking that puck off. Wow. Hit the post, yeah. He is playing solid tonight, solid. He needs to get, get that offensive help going here. Works behind the net. Ming works it up, up to the front. Max Lekovic looking to clear the zone. Gains the red line, trying to get all the way through. Is able to do so. Good, strong work there. Looking yeah. center. No one there. Max contins, continues to work. Isla dumps it off of the stick. We're looking to try to regroup here. Max battles there against number 13, Jack Babson. Good yep. That was some nice strong work there. Yep. Uh, by Max, took that rush from it within his own zone. Got the got the pass up from Ming. Managed to gain red line. Got a, you know right around a, a much bigger uh, Babson, Jack Babson defenseman, and uh, you know some good some good zone time down there in in the uh, Milton end. 6:25 left in the third. One nothing is your score, Milton. 
here in the playdowns. There you go. Another nice move there by Murphy. Murphy's taking it wise. He can get some support as they start to head in. Good luck. Yeah, right idea. Murphy battles in the corner, looks to send it out front. Blocked down there by the Milton players. Jammed in by Noah. He first to the puck. Sam Brett's able to get a hold of that. Murphy bothers the Milton player. Maloof picks it up here, 75. Ooh, nice little stick move Ooh. there. Good feed. Oh, nice defense. Yep. You know, that, that, you know they, they stay at home, get wide there. Murphy gets wide. Yeah. Use that space. See if he's got James Solner with him. Yep, good luck. Gomez in to try to help out. Puck just jumps back out. Sam Brett battles it there. Picked up by Ming. Murphy working. Nice defense there as they're able to kind of push that puck and the carrier to the outside there, Brian. Yep. Keep them out of the uh, out of the scoring area. Ben Wagibi working it. Broken out here. Oh, we're trying to get into the Milton zone. Soliner working by himself. Continues to work. Continues. Oh, nice shot. Nice move. Yep. That's some nice pressure there. That was some 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 real good work. Exactly. By Soliner. That's that's the first step, is because getting him getting him busy in between the pipes. Now now he knows that Noah's a threat. So yep. let's see if uh, we can win this face off and go back to work. Yeah, Soliner moves in and Benoit, you know, is, is able to, you know, get pick up that puck right there off of the draw, back up to Elijah. Elijah takes a look. Tries to see if he can get it on through, unable to do so. Puck battled into the far zone. Shot straight across. Interrupted there. Milton will break out. No, always got the numbers back. Picked off nicely. Dumps back in. No, always got to get back this time. Able to do so. Again, ah, oh, just missing. Just jumped out. Oh, the offside. Yeah, yep. just jumped yep. out. 418 left here in the third. one nothing. So Norwood, uh, you know, starting to pick up the play, Brian, just a little bit here. It's, um, it's urgency. Yeah. They know. Yep. They know the clock's working against yep. them, and they're, they're getting aggressive, as exactly. they should. Milton brings it back on in. Puck is chipped, but travels wide. Max Lekovic will pick it up again for Mustangs. Works it outside of the zone, able to clear. And now picked off there nicely by the Milton player. Landon will just leave it behind for his defenseman. Puck still sitting behind his net. That will pick it up here for Norwood. He'll start to take the rush up. Right through center ice, continuing to move. Everyone's still on side. Oh, once again, just not not not, my, my, not by much. As DeShellis was almost there, Noah was, you know, I'm missed it by just a hair. I'm tempted to to <laughs> pause the video and play it back <laughs> and see if I can catch them catch them sleeping. I don't That's know right. about that one. <laughs> well, it's funny because it was made from the ref that was already inside the zone, so I don't know <laughs> right. if, what he could have seen anyway. So 3.30 left here in the game. Elijah's able to work the body. Another strong save. Puck behind the net. Here comes Elijah out. Pick us up a little head of steam. Blows a tire, but he's all right. Back up again. Gets the puck in deep. Smart play. Kept in there. Right back in on net. There you go. Good play. Same now, thing. There you yep. go. Now you pressure. Yep. Keep that puck. Keep that puck cycling. That's good. Yeah. Great. Get it down in deep right there. You don't need. You know. There's a, sometimes there's a lot of traffic. You just, you're not gonna be able to get that through. Yep. Oh, puck pops out here. See if Elijah can get on his horse. Look that, at that. That's great back. Look at that. Comes all the way across from his his defensive position right there. Oh, it was, the puck was at his feet right there. Was unable to see it. 2.30 left here in the third. Uh, Got to get out of the zone. Yeah, Norwood's able out, to do clear. so. A little bit of traffic over there. Puck squirts free. Brett's able to take the man wide. Strong save again. Oh, yeah. Puck zips wide. 
Great work there. What a stop. Yep, great He's stop. Everything. And, and, and defensively to be able to, to take the Milton man wide, take him outside of that shooting zone. Looks like we'll get, what, the offsides here? Yep. Two minutes left here in the final frame, the final third period. I think Coach is probably going to yeah. take his time out take here. Take the time out here. Yep. Smart. Yep. You get one uh, here during play down, so you might as well uh, take him. Have Landon come, because at some juncture you're going to have to think about yeah. when you're going to pull him for that extra skater. I was going to say, do you pull him now? It depends on where the faceoff is, I guess, but do you pull him now and take your chance with a – with a one goal deficit, yeah, maybe I don't know. It just depends on the faceoff win is so important right. here. Right, I because was just about to say, yeah, if, yeah. If, if they lose it and now now they're trailing the puck, that that takes more time off of their hands to get the goalie pulled. But yep. if they win, they can get that puck back in. They pull them right away, and we'll we'll see what happens. I mean, straight straighter things have happened. Without I've question. witnessed it. <laughs> yeah. I've witnessed it. So. Yeah. I've had it happen to me. I've had it happen <laughs> yep. for me. Yep. Uh, mostly it goes to me. So I think right. the, the faceoff will come just outside the zone. So maybe they'll put they'll put Landon in, you know, far out of the crease, hoping that we'll get that 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 draw right here. And you can tell. Look, look at Noah banging on their sticks. Yep. They're ready. Yep. They are ready they to go are here. Ready. We need, this is a big win here on the draw. So Isla continues to work. Get that go. here to the far side. There you go. 154 left. Yeah, they just, they just got to get a clean entry, yeah, and he's exactly. gone. Yep. So we're down here to the last 145. Brett's able to pick that off. Can't quite get his feet under him. Still just need a chance here to get this in deep yeah. so that they can get Landon out of the net. 130 left. one nothing Milton. So leg save there. Landon's able to send it to the far side, but he's going to need some help here so folks can clear it out. Got to skate to that puck. That's a smart little play there by the Milton player to go to the far side. Right. Again, you're just, you know, they're looking to burn some of this time here. They don't, they don't care about scoring yep, at this point. Exactly. They just want to protect yep, their lead. Yep. So Norwood needs to gain possession of the puck. Isla's got it. And she's able to get it out. Now I would pull Landon. Landon comes to the net, comes to the bench. Isla works all the way through, ridden off nicely. Shot comes there, save. Well played, yeah. under a minute left. There you go. Chipped in, continuing to work. Get that extra skater in, Elijah comes in. Shot comes in, oh, solid, solid, oh. solid save. But that is a great, great move. What a golden opportunity. That was fantastic. Oof. Worked right out of the corner there. It was able to get a shot on net. He. He, he hit the brakes a little bit, and he saw an opening right toward the middle of the crease, and he took it, and good for him. Yeah, exactly. That's, uh, that's about as good of an opportunity as you can ask for. Exactly. So 37 seconds left. Buck still work down here in the, in the Milton zone. Milton able to just get it out. No ice here, so Elijah's got to get on his horse. Sitting in the crease there. 19 seconds left. Again, kind of a smart play there, but you know, just get the puck in. You don't, you know, yeah. you start to throw that towards the middle, and you know, you see that open net, and everyone gets, you know, you know, all wide-eyed. Uh, you're just looking to burn time. Under right. 10 seconds left here, you got to try to make this last one. One last effort, and it looks like they're going to come up just short on that as time runs out for the the uh, the Mustangs on it. But uh, I I, w I will tell you, for for a one nothing game. Uh, what an absolute pleasure to, to watch these guys. I've not seen these this team play yet this year. Um, I haven't seen Landon's, you know, goaltending at all. Uh, but boy, you can, and, and we'll watch as these guys go through the line. And yeah. just, uh, again, a lot of these Milton kids are gonna be going, you know, nice game, nice game, right, like right. down to them. Oh, exactly, you, yeah. You know, it's such a difference. And they have been able to, they skate with these guys through all but, you know, a couple seconds. All yeah. but a couple seconds. I mean, the proof is in the pudding. They skate hard. They were, you know, they were they were trying, at least trying to be first of the puck. And like I said, it at this level, you know, wins and losses aren't necessarily the biggest thing. It's more about what can you take away from it. Yep. And Norwood defensively was fantastic. In yep. a, in a one nothing game, you know, a lot of people look at that in hindsight and they say, well, oh, one nothing they lost. But that's not really indicative of the, of the entire story. They played super defensively goaltending was great they got their chances offensively it's just you know one 
one rebound goes the other way, and that's the game. But overall, I think both teams played great. I think Norwood has a lot to, you know, really build on and move on from from this. Exactly, exactly. So your final this 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 evening from Milton Academy in the first round of the uh, Tier Four playdowns, the Milton Wildcats is able to come out on top with a one nothing win over the Norwood Mustangs. Uh, Dunny, always a pleasure. Absolutely. I love doing these kind of things. I was so glad when you kind of said, hey, do we know of any games coming up? I exactly. Go, you betcha. NCM Sports, you know, if, if, if you're going to be out there playing somewhere, we'll find you. Exactly. And we'll get you on NCM TV. NCM isn't high school specific, and we, we try to stress that enough. So Exactly. And for those watching, hey, get our get our contact info. If you want if you want something covered, we would love to, you know, work something out. So don't be afraid to reach out. Exactly. So on behalf of Brian Dunn, I'm Mark Hoover for NCM Sports. Thank you so much for tuning in. Again, your final score, Milton 1, Norwood nothing. Have a great night. Okay, well, we're here with, with who may have been the player of the game. Now, again, hockey is a team sport, but Landon, some unbelievable goaltending from you tonight from beginning to end. How did you feel coming into tonight's game? Oh, I felt a bit nervous because we skipped the first round because there was an odd number of teams. So this, we automatically went into the second round facing a B2, a Herman team, when we're a B2 Ray, the lowest division versus the highest division. So it was just pretty nerve-wracking. And, and, you know, it, they, they, Milton started off pretty strong, right in, right in your own zone kind of from, from the get-go. What's it like maybe to kind of get those first couple saves out of the way, and then do you kind of get into a groove? It's kind of like you do the warm-up, and then, like, the first couple minutes of the period when they start actually shooting on you is like a, a post-warm-up, and you just get, like, warmed up for the rest of the game. Yeah. It, it, it looked like you were seeing the puck tonight really well. You looked like you were playing again as the game went on with a lot more confidence. As the game was going on, were you kind of getting that feel that you, you, you were kind of like seeing the puck well? Yeah, yeah. It, it was pretty good. And, and you know, I, I've, I've been talking with your coach. You know, he's been working with you in terms of how, how has this season for yours, you know, your development gone as a goaltender from, you know, the beginning of the year to about where we are tonight? Because what we saw tonight was just some lights out hockey. Um, in the beginning of the year, our team was, like, doing okay. But now, like, I've improved, like, so much. I've, gone to, I've been going to goal training every Sunday, just trying to get better, and we're doing a lot better now. Well, it, it looks like it's been paying off. Now, obviously, one, one, one tough kind of goal there. Take us through kind of what happened, because it looks like you were making, like, three or four saves on that, on that one goal. Yeah, so they just kept shooting the puck. So I made the original save. I dropped down, and then they just kept shooting, so I had to keep extending my leg. And then at that point, I was just like stretch out everywhere so I couldn't get to the other side of the net, and they just scored. You're, you're kind of run out of a little bit of room, right? Yeah. Um, you know, to, to, to take a team like this Milton team, and, and, and we knew coming in that this was, like you said, you know, uh, a, a Herman division versus a Ray division, and you could even see kind of the size differential. From a team standpoint, how do you think that your teammates kind of reacted and, 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 and handled themselves with a stronger, faster team tonight? I feel like they adapted from what they usually do. So like at the first couple of minutes like I do for my warm-ups is basically getting to know how their their team plays. So they adapt after the first couple of minutes they played a lot better and uh, started getting it in their zone a lot more. Yeah. It, it was it was exciting as 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 Brian Dunn and I were calling the game tonight. You know, there was a good solid chance there like right there at the last, you know, the last the last chance. When, when they had pulled you and got the extra skater. So we almost kind of went into an overtime, but fell just a little short tonight. What a great game. Tell us just real quick, what's on tap for the rest of the season for you guys? Um, I don't know, but I hope we win the championship. <laughs> that's, that's the spirit. I do understand you are heading up to uh, Waterville Valley for a little uh, tournament coming up. When's that coming up? Um, February in about like three weeks, maybe two. Perfect. All right, listen, Landon. Fantastic game tonight. Might be the might be the first star of the night. You know, the number one star. Congratulations on a great season, and best of luck the rest of the way. Thank you. All right. Landon, our goaltender tonight's number one star of the night. Mark Hoover for NCM Sports.